All right, I want to look at one more way to help us go directly over to the mount, all right? The, the, the straight line down the middle passing that becomes available as we have our shin staple, okay? Uh, remember, we're really just dealing with that hook, all right? And we have a nice way to kill that hook utilizing a shin to shin. This can be done a couple of different ways as far as how our upper body grips are. All right, let's take a look, okay? So let's say I, I got the head control. Actually, let's go this way so we can see the back. Let's say I managed to come in and get that head control, all right? We know we have the hop and twist, you know, possible side smashes. We've already seen that stuff, okay? The, the, the tighter the hook is, and the less that he's really committing to using it, the more that I'm likely to use this shin to shin, all right? All I want to do is just come forward a little bit and look for my opportunity to scoop my ankle right over his ankle. Now I can extend my leg and literally just kick his hook out of the, out of the picture, all right? And just once again arrive right at the mouth position, okay? So again, it's there. I need to lean forward a little bit, so that's where I'm using my elbows and even my head on the mat. Just trying to chin so I don't smash your jaw. Head on my mat, on the mat a little bit, so I can raise up and find that hook. Boom, take it out of the way, and it's all ours, all right? This is also something I'll play with when I get uh, dominant wrist control as well, a little more in the beginning, okay? I'm not opposed to just completely <laughs> just you know, make him lay there with his wrist pin, all right? Once again, coming back into that MMA experience that I gained, right? Wrist control is everything, okay? Opens up my strikes and uh, very hard for him to get on his elbow and scramble up or anything like that when his arm is pinned, okay? This is another time where, you know, I can play with side smashes or whatever, and this is just a different option where I can lean forward enough to take that hook out of my way if necessary, all right? Um, you know, so a couple of different ways. I just need to be able to come forward. It's something very simple. I don't need to do a lot of explanation here. It's more about just seeing that that angle is possible, all right? Uh, and, and you knowing what you have available, especially if they're not really doing too much with this leg, okay? Um, so we have, the hat, we have the shin to shin killing of the hook here. I want to go ahead and sprinkle in one more little what if, okay? Uh, uh, changing courses just a bit, but from here, there are also the ones that, going off of them not really doing too much with this hook, they may completely take the hook out, okay? Some people don't, you know, don't want this, and they want to get that hook out, so maybe they can try to move their hip out that way better, right? Yes, exactly. Well, let me, let me just point this out, because if he takes that hook out, he's lost everything, all right? So if that hook leg comes out, I'm in, and now I'm just gonna double cut. All right, I already have my shin on the other leg. I just bring my other shin over. And now from here, I take my feet out, and I pass, all right? So uh, the reason why I'm just putting this together is because we're talking about, you know, someone that's not lifting, someone that's not doing too much with this hook. There are the ones that will take it out and want to try to get out of here completely, okay? And if that happens, you know, I, I get my control. Now, you know, I won't even, I'm not even opposed to looking for your opportunity to come through and, and still mount. Okay, you see I drive my knee over to that far pocket. But at the very least, I have this double little knee cut here, both my shins over his leg. And I just pass my feet out and slide in to the control. We've already talked about on the knee slice. Okay, so a couple of different options there. Um, with the near side underhook, if we get that, it's, it's, you don't even need to do the shin to shin, all right, because you get to use that hand uh, to push the knee and make them do the splits, and we go right to the mount position, all right? Um, so, same, same, you know, understanding that, uh, of the angles, right? Forward, side, side, and how all the different little reactions come into play, and, uh, and, and how we need to react according to their reaction.